The video industry has used teleprompters for a very long time. They have been large, monstrous beasties at the, in the beginning because they had tube televisions and paper rolling under a camera. But now we have computerized teleprompters and they're much lighter and smaller. We now have even smaller ones for DSLRs and little video cameras. And this is an example of one of those from Feel World, the TP10. This is Alan Halfhill for Personal View. I will be doing a review of this teleprompter and stick around to the end because I will give you some advice on how to use it more effectively. And now let's open up the package and see what's inside of this nice white box. And it's a carrying case that's inside this nice white box. You have to pull it out and then we can get the box out of the way and open up this Field World case. And as you can see, it's quite a nice case. You have your instruction manual and then open up here and you will see it where it says Feel World. And then there's a nice piece of glass on this unit. Actually, what you want to do is open up like so. This is the teleprompter unit here and it has this nice glass and on the back you can see the hole for mounting the camera. And we'll put that aside. And now we'll open up the other side that is zipped closed. And all sorts of things are in here. As you can see as they come out, we have quite a bit of stuff in this carrying case. And now we will close up this case. And of course, all the stuff will go back in it when we're done with the teleprompter. And we can put that off to the side. And now we will show you the other things that were in the case. Here is a phone holder, another phone, tam phone clamp. And here is the remote for controlling the software a bunch of lens uh, foam rings. You can see here, these are foam rings for, and that's for your different phones that will go in the back of the prompter. Uh, another foam clamp. Wow, they got two foam clamps, as you can see here. Here's another one. And a bunch of adapter rings, as you can see here. And there are different filter sizes from 49 at the smallest to 52 to 55 to 58, 62, 67, 72, and of course, 77 right here. So those are your adapter rings. And then you have a quarter inch C ring screws that are in this little bag here. And one more item. In this bag, this is a sunshade for the teleprompter when you're using it outdoors or if you have lots of lights in your studio, you may want to use this as well. And we'll get rid of that. And now let's assemble the teleprompter. It may seem awfully complicated because of all the parts that are involved, as you can see here, but it really isn't that complicated. The first thing you have to do is take this unit here, which is the phone tablet holder, and mount it to this part on the teleprompter itself. So you push this button over here, like so, and then turn it and remove it. And we'll open this bag and take the screws out of it. And we'll put one of them here into the plastic like so. And you don't want to get it backwards like I was just doing. And take this unit and screw it into that. This is your phone tablet holder. 
like so, and you just mount it on here and then tighten it up like so. And now you take this unit, slide it in, turn it, and lock it with this tab here. And now you have the phone holder on the teleprompter. Next thing you want to do is pull out the glass and take out this nice cleaning cloth that was in with the glass. And then take the lens shade, or should I say sunshade, and just mount it onto here like so. And just Velcros on and goes on very nicely around the unit as you can see. And then we have the glass of the teleprompter and the phone holder. Now if you're going to use a phone, it's very easy to install. All you have to do is just pull this forward and the phone will sit in there very nicely. And I can look at the phone looking at the teleprompter. As you can see there, there is the phone. And that fits very nicely into this teleprompter. And you certainly have extra room because this is a bigger teleprompter. Now, if you want to use a iPad instead of a phone, you have to push this little button in and then the holder will come out to hold an iPad. And we'll take this iPad here and put it on here instead. As you can see here, the iPad fits very nicely in the unit. And I can see the whole screen with this iPad mini that I have here. What you need to do is get text into the Field World app once you've loaded the app. And so I just went to my notes and have some text as you can see here and I just copy it. And then I go into the Field World app, which is right here. And I just go down to the bottom and it says plus and you can paste in your text. If you hold it down, come on, there we go. And now there's my text that I will be teleprompting. What you want to do in order to teleprompt the text file is just to tap on it and it comes up on the teleprompter. Once you have got your text into the teleprompter, then you open up and now you put the batteries into the remote control like so and then close it up. And what you want to do is get out of the teleprompter app and get to your settings, which you can see here. And then we want to go to Bluetooth and then we will turn the unit on. A little red light comes on. You hold it down until it blinks. Now the it sees Field World right here and then you click like so and it says Do you want to pair and I say yes. I want to pair my phone with, and it shows it's connected right there. And the little light blinked on me, so I believe that means it's connected. So now we go back to here, like so, click on here, and get this set up properly. And you want to make sure the words are backwards and toward the teleprompter. And then we pull it back into here, like so. And now, as you can see, there's my teleprompter. I will now use this remote to control the iPad, which is teleprompting. And you use the top button of it to start and stop. And now we'll do a demonstration. The Field World TP10 is a lightweight and portable teleprompter, which was developed for the video shooter. It can be prompted via smartphone or tablet while the camera is recording and it allows you to read clearly the scrolling text while looking directly into the camera. And if you want to use an iPad that is 11 inches or smaller, you can use the iPad Pro like I have here. And you just, again, just pull this out until the iPad slides into it like so and move it over and that sort of thing. And you can see here, if I do this, I can open up my iPad and use my face. And then you can see here, 
now we can see that it's working with an iPad Pro. So you can use up to an iPad Pro for this. I have now connected this remote to my iPad Pro to test it out and the iPad Pro is on the teleprompter. And now I'm going to push the button and start reading from the teleprompter. The Field World TP10 is a lightweight and portable teleprompter which was developed for the video shooter. It can be prompted via smartphone or tablet while the camera is recording. It allows you to clearly read the scrolling text while looking directly into the camera. It supports a wide angle lens. And as you can see, this is just working just fine. And here the text is just scrolling as well. I can make it go faster by pushing up on the uh, remote or I can slow it down by pulling it down on the remote. And I can even stop it by pushing the button. And then I can go back and start prompting again by pushing the button again. And soon the text will come back up and as soon as it does come back up, here it comes now, and now I can read it again. The Feel World TP10 is a lightweight and portable teleprompter which was developed for the video shooter. And now you can see how that works. And I can stop it, of course. I can change the color. And there's different colors, and you can go back to black which I think is the easiest to read. You can change it, as you can see, you can flip it from the remote by pushing the B key. The A key does the color change. The V key, or yes, that looks, no, that's an A key. Doesn't seem to do anything. At least, let's see if it does anything while I'm running the remote. Uh, no, it doesn't, but the V key, as you can see here, uh, the V key flips it. If you hold the joystick to the right, the font size gets bigger. If you hold the joystick to the left, the font size gets smaller. I'm now using the TP10 teleprompter with my iPhone as the prompting device and I'm using the remote that they give me. And uh, we will start prompting right now. The Feel World TP10 is a lightweight and portable teleprompter which was designed for the video shooter. It can be prompted via smartphone or tablet while the camera is recording. It allows you to see clearly and read the scrolling text while looking directly into the camera. It also supports a wide angle lens. And the interesting thing about this, of course, is the size of the text. It's not bad, but it certainly does not fill the teleprompter screen using an iPhone, but it does work and it works quite well. Another thing you can do with the teleprompter is use a smartphone, but in order to use a smartphone, you really need to make the hole a lot smaller on the, on the back of the unit. So I take the little foam plug that they've given me and the 72 millimeter ring, and you just want to get it on the outside of that ring. You don't want to go down too deep. You just want to get it on the ring itself, sort of like so. That way the ring will slide onto the, the teleprompter, as you'll see here when I do this. And now I can take out the center ring, but I should have done that ahead of time. So we will do that. I should have taken out the ring ahead of time and so I will do that now and now let's put it back on here and now you can see the smartphone can sit there now I need to take the smartphone adapter the second one that they gave us and another adapter as well so all this will work and what you want to do is screw in this screw into the bottom of here like so and it'll go in and it did and then mount that with this the smartphone holder and so now you need to screw this together like so and that, that's nice and solid and then 
you'll need another one of these of here and I can do that before I put in the device so I can just screw it in like so and then I can slide in this device into here it should, it's supposed to slide in I, it will slide in I just have to get right okay okay and then you tighten up this like so and then grab your smartphone and put its camera like so into here and this is adjustable so you can raise it up and put it on like so and that's how you can mount a smartphone on the back of this unit when assembled the TP10 is not too heavy and weighs 440 grams the TP10 is 216 millimeters by 18 millimeters by about 15 millimeters at the thin part but if you include the cover it is 115 millimeters so it's a fairly compact unit one of the things that I did was to add a magic arm to the bottom of the holder for the iPad because the iPad Pro is large and heavy it gives you a much more secure feeling to have this magic arm on here and I'm just I connected it to my tripod handle to make this a lot more secure one thing I like about this teleprompter if you're using a large iPad like the iPad Pro you can move the reflective transparent mirror down so you can see more of the iPad you can adjust it depending upon what is on the holder and I find that very very handy to be able to see more of the screen one admission that field world did while editing documents is that if you go in and tap on the pencil icon to edit and go to here and now you look at this document if I tap on it and I want to edit if I want to add a carriage return there is no carriage return in the keyboard down at the bottom all I can hit is done and save that does not allow me to add carriage returns into my document and I find that frustrating the only way to edit that document is to edit in another editor now I'm using my iPad Pro with different software called teleprompter and my phone actually controls the speed of the teleprompter the teleprompter software is both on my phone and on the iPad Pro now we're going to do a test so I'm going to actually start recording the Feel World TP10 is a lightweight and portable teleprompter which was developed for the video shooter it can be prompted via smartphone or tablet while the camera is recording it allows you to clearly read the scrolling text while looking directly into the camera it also supports a wide-angle lens and I can increase the speed if I want to by just clicking on here and you can see it's going faster or I can slow it down and go even slower but this is very very controllable which is a very nice thing and I thoroughly enjoy it because of that and uh, this is working quite well and of course the one of the things I really like about it is you can go in reverse and then do your section again like right now the teleprompter uses environmentally ABS industrial plastic material which is sturdy and durable the compact and portable design easily makes it easy to carry and uh, that sort of thing so it's a very nice little prompter especially with this software the Field World TP10 is a bigger version of their TP2, which I have used as well. And it's nice having the bigger screen on the TP10. And the software is identical to the TP2, and the controller is as well. And 
It took me a little while to get the controller to work, but once I did, it worked just fine. So it is an interesting product, and I like being able to stop and start the scrolling of the text and controlling the speed with this controller. I do prefer my own software for teleprompting. It does work with my iPad and my iPad mini and my iPad Pro, and that's a very good thing. And it's interesting being able to use a full-size 11-inch iPad on this teleprompter. This is Alan Hatfield for a personal view. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you later.